Earlier this evening, we see main event fighter Johnny Eblen making his way into the arena. He comes to us by way of American Top Team in Coconut Creek, Florida, training alongside some of the best in the business. And tonight, he looks to make a statement that he is ready for the UFC and or Bellator. But up next, it is Derek Wicks. He will be taking on Roland Harris. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring out our next bout of the evening, Roland Harris. Coming to the cage, it is Taekwondo black belt, Roland Harris. Now, although he does not have, he has a lot of fights in the world of MMA, he is also 4-0 in the world of kickboxing and is the head coach at Extreme Sports Fitness. Look for him to try to keep his back off of the cage. He wants to stand in the middle and he wants to bang tonight. Yeah, that's definitely the number one thing is keeping his back off that cage. Now he has not fought since 2015. He thought about retirement. He took some time away, but he said to me that weight was an issue. Now he's fighting in a higher weight class and everything is great to go. Let's bring out his opponent tonight, Derek Wicks. Coming to the cage tonight by way of the caveman crew, it is Derek Wicks. Now he also, great record in the world of MMA with over nine fights, six and three. The former high school wrestler also was a boxer and looks to use those hands tonight. He said, I absolutely just love combat sports. As we go to our supplement superstores, tail of the tape, Derek Wicks, 24 years old, 5'10", 154 pounds. Roland Harris, 27 years old, 5'7", 157 pounds. He did miss weight for this fight. How much does that get in your head when your opponent misses weight? Uh, for me, it doesn't really matter a whole lot. I mean, I've agreed to fight, so I don't care. They weigh 10 pounds heavier, 30 pounds heavier. You know, you start getting up into those bigger weight classes, though, it, it becomes a bit of an issue. I think he missed by a couple pounds. He should never, ever miss weight. I don't. I think that's like the number one problem in our sport. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, fighting out of the blue corner this evening, he stands five feet, seven inches tall. He weighs in at 157 pounds. Please welcome Roland Harris. His opponent tonight, fighting from across the cage out of the red corner this evening. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall. He weighs in at 154.4 pounds. Please welcome Derek Wicks. Referee Mike Anglin has the call for this fight. This fight is three three-minute rounds in the Shamrock FC lightweight division. Derek Wicks in the red tape, Roland Harris in the blue. Both of these guys look very physically fit. Touch of the gloves, taking the center of the cage is Roland Harris. Jumping sidekick there is Wicks. Whoa, Big. Whoa flashbacks. <laughs> flashbacks. <laughs> send, send, send me back a few, few years. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, that was funny. Nice. I don't care. It was funny. All right, big hands here coming out of Derek Wills. Wicks looking to finish here. I can tell you right now I'm a big fan of Wicks' stand-up. Nice high kick right there. He's got a nice defense. Uh, a lot of times everybody just looks at the offense. Look at his defense. He does uh, kind of what I say Tito Ortiz does, how he rolls his hands. He covers up and then he kind of rolls so we can still see what's happening. He does have some very interesting shots and kind of wild flashy kicks. And I hate to say it, a la Uriah Hall in that kind of instance. Yeah, I got to go. <laughs> Keeping the pressure here is Wicks. Again, big spinning kick to the body. 
If you look, if you look at Harris though, he, I don't know if he just keeps his mouthpiece kind of out of his mouth a little bit, or he's breathing heavy from being overwhelmed. Wicks looks much more calm and composed. Nice right hand over the top there. Wicks is just walking him down. Nice. Oh, that, that would hurt, hurt him. him. That hurt. This fight's over. I think it, I think it got him in the throat a yeah, little bit. I, I think it was a throat punch, quite possibly. Big win there, though, as we get to take a look here at the Mattingly Lumber Instant Replay. What do we see here with it? I don't know, kind of right in the chin to me. It looked like he was on the chin a little bit, but he grabbed his throat right away yeah. and was pointing to it. So, I mean. Could have been, could have knocked it down flat. Again, big win there. Huge hands out of Derek Wicks. Throwing some very fancy spinning stuff. Again, back into the instant replay here. Big shot, lands right. Could be on the chin, could have been on the throat. But what a fight. A lot of heavy hands thrown. Let's send this one up to the cage to Steven Bayer. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee stops this contest. One minute and 53 seconds of round number one. Your winner by TKO out of the red corner this evening, Derek Wicks. A big win by Derek Wicks. He was absolutely on fire in that fight. Yeah, I became a big fan of Derek Wicks just now. I think uh, there's a big future in store for that kid. Well, coming up next, after a short break, we will move into the main card, as first up will be Raul Romero. He'll be taking on Steve Brown, and we'll be right back in just a few.